festival fun over the weekend, whether you choose to be screening or to be streaming. The Miami Film Festival wrapped up last night, and as the network's Alejandra Garcia reports, there was something for everyone, regardless of how close they were able to get to the action. The Miami Film Festival wrapped its 38th edition this past weekend, being the first ever festival that was held in a hybrid format. Because of the pandemic, it has been hard for social gatherings and events like this to continue with safety guidelines. But the Miami Film Festival team made it seem seamless by holding in-person events and virtual events. Uh, Miami Film Festival last year was canceled with four days left, uh, devastating. Um, but luckily enough, we were able to show 80% of our program. But after that, you know, we knew we had to come up with a, a plan B. And um, I've actually been so happy with it. I mean, you know, uh, the, the hybrid festival means that we have both virtual and in theater screenings and our in theater screenings follow strict COVID protocol to make sure, you know, social distancing, masks, um, you know, to make sure it's safe for people to, to gather. By changing the traditional festival format from all in person to hybrid events, they took down the physical limitations they had before, making it more accessible to the rest of the country from the comfort of their own home. Honestly, it's, there's so many benefits to it. Um, this way, actually, our films are all geo-blocked to the United States, which means that anyone in the U.S. can watch the, the Miami Film Festival movies, not just people who are in Miami, which is incredible because we can expand our audience by, by so much. So you know, the turnout's been um, very, very strong. A lot of people coming back and they're saying that it's their first time back in the movie theater. The Miami Film Festival director and his team worked heavily this year to make the festival a reality instead of canceling it altogether because of the coronavirus health crisis, resulting in an overall success for this year's edition. A lot of work, um, you know, we have a lot of messaging and it's a lot, it's new for a lot of people. So, you know, even though you, you know, put a web page together, you send out emails, it's like, you know, people have to kind of come and really experience it to understand, like, kind of the rhythm of it. So, you know, once we, once we're into it, I think people, people are um, finding it easy to follow along, you know.